Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli, back out here in the shop, and man oh man, we've got a great video for you today. Before we get into it, do me a favor, stop real quick, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. We've got brand new videos every single week, and we're gonna be dropping some bombs on you. And I've got a bomb for you today. And we're gonna be talking about a technique, a trick, that catches bedding bass like no other I've ever seen in my life. But as a bonus, I'm gonna give you two tricks with this same bait that's gonna help you catch bedding fish. All right, let's talk about spawning fish. Spawning fish can be easy or they can be tough. I don't think there's anything more frustrating than bass fishing. When you're fishing in the spring and you see them, you look out there and you can see them spawning but you can't get them to bite. Oh God, it's frustrating to know that a fish is spawning on a bed, but to not be able to make that fish bite, there's nothing more frustrating out there. When we developed this bait that I'm about to tell you about, it really changed all of that because the action, the shape, the motion, the feel, the look of this bait, makes those bedding fish bite no matter what. It's hard to say that about other lures when the fish are spawning. But this lure, this lure is going to make them bite. And I am talking about a bluegill, a panfish style swim bait called the gilly. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, you've heard me talk about the gilly before. You've heard me give you different ways, ways to rig it, but I'm specifically talking today about when fish are spawning, that springtime period. This thing is a killer. And think about it. it, makes a lot of sense, right? Because a bluegill, a panfish, a sunfish, a rock bass, anything in that panfish species, right? Look at that thing, looks just like a bluegill. They are nest raiders. That means that when that fish is spawning in the spring, that bass knows that these little panfish are trying to steal their eggs. And they can't stand that. They won't take that. They won't put up with it. So the shape, the color, the size, the action, all of that, this is the inherent enemy of a bass when it's spawning. And I'm gonna give you two ways that we're gonna rig this gilly, that when you throw it around those spawning bass, they can't leave it alone, okay? It's pretty, it's pretty unbelievable. All right, let's start with the first one, a very common one, but I wanna give you the specifics on it. And that is the gilly rigged on a short leader drop shot. For this technique, I really prefer the small size ghillie. Okay, this is the 90 millimeter ghillie. It's a perfect imitation of a uh, young bluegill, a young of the year or one or two year old bluegill. The perfect size of those bluegill that harass the beds. And I love to rig this 90 size on a short leader drop shot. It's real simple, okay? A lot of you know the short leader drop shot. I'll go over it real quick. Start with the hook. I like a wider gapped hook for this bait, for this 90 gilly. And I'm going to use a, um, a number one, a one-aught, or a two-aught. Any of those three sizes work. Uh, wacky hook by VMC. Um, this particular run, one right here is a two-aught uh, wacky hook by VMC. I like that wacky style over a traditional drop shot hook because it's just got a bigger gap, okay? I'm going to tie it in line and I'm going to have a short leader below it, okay? Listen, this is a key part of this for fishing for these spawning springtime bedding bass is I want your leader from where that hook's sitting in line to where that weight is at I want it to be short. Look at that one right there, it's about 
four or five inches, two or three inches, six inches, in that range. I would say two to six inches, four to five is perfect. A short leader to your tungsten drop shot weight. On your weights, anything that's lighter will work for these spawning fish. Uh, an eighth, three sixteenths, quarter, they're all great sizes depending on the depth of the beds, okay? Short leader drop shot. And I want you to look at that bait and, and think about what that 90 gilly is going to do. When you pitch it around the beds, literally I'll pitch it around the beds. If I can't see, see the, the, the actual bass spawning, the water's dirty or murky, I'll just shake it. I'll slide it and shake it. But if I can see that bed, that light spot, that dish, that circle, that plate, if I see that bed, I actually will drag it into the bed, and then once it gets in the middle of that circle, I just leave it in place. Look at the orientation of that 90 gilly. And that's what's so key. It's oriented, it's positioned in an anatomically correct position, right? That's how bluegill would sit. And the great thing about it, this short leader drop shot is that it stays up on the bottom and stays in their face. And it looks just like a little bluegill swimming around their bed. I do a lot of shaking. I'll pull it and shake it and stop it. The whole time, this bait's gonna stay horizontal. It's nose hooked, right? Look at how I have that hooked on that two-aught wacky hook. I have it nose hooked. So when that fish gets it, it's all hook. It's a great system to use around beds, especially when the cover is sparse or it's open water. Short leader drop shot gilly, rig nose hook style, that's the deal for bedding fish. But I'm gonna give you another one, and this is one, I'm gonna be honest, I almost hate giving away. This is a real secret, but this is an in the shop video, and we're gonna give them all to you. And this one revolves around fishing the 110 gilly, which is the next size up, the 110 millimeter gilly. And this system works a lot better when you're fishing for bedding fish in the spring that are around a lot of heavy cover. Fish bass love to spawn around cover. Usually it's, that fish is spotted near a dock, near a piece of brush, in the middle of a weed bed. And when that short leader drop shot's getting hung up, this little way to rig this is gonna be unbelievable, okay? All right, here's the deal. For this system, we're gonna use a 3 aught EWG style hook. 3 aught EWG is the exact hook to use for this 110 millimeter. It fits perfect. Like if you look at this 110 I've got rigged, it just absolutely fits perfect in the body. It's, it's all hook when they get it, right? So a 3 aught EWG, I actually prefer the VMC ringed hooks, which has a little welded eye, but any hook that you like, 3 aught EWG style is what you want. We're gonna side rig it. And side rigging is basically a Texas rig, but instead of coming through the middle of the body, we're gonna go at an angle toward the bottom. And the great thing about the ghillie is that that bait is solid at the belly, at the bottom of that bluegill, right? If we're holding it in the anatomically correct position, right? The solid part of that ghillie is at the bottom. And that's where we want to side rig it, right? That's where we want to do the Texas rig, but we want that hook to come out on the side at the bottom. Okay, Texas rigged, weightless, gilly. The only weight is the hook and that little ring that's gonna cause it to sink real slow. But here comes the secret, you ready? To that side rigged Texas rig gilly, we're gonna add something that's gonna make it magical 
around the spawning beds in the spring. I'm going to go in my flambeau box real quick and pull it out. You ready? Shipping peanut! A packing peanut! I mean, look, you don't even have to buy them. Go in your wife's closet. You know she's ordering Amazon stuff every other night. She's got a thousand of them in those boxes that she doesn't want you to see. That was sort of a joke and sort of not, but these are just styrofoam packing peanuts. Take them, save them, put them in a Ziploc. This is how I carry them in my ghillie box. And we're going to add styrofoam to this bait. You ready for this? To make it sink ultra slow or suspend in the bed. Can you imagine this ghillie swimming through and then you kill it? Remember, anatomically correct. And then you kill it in the bed and that thing just sits there and it barely sinks or actually just suspends. Can you close your eyes and imagine how you think the bass are going to react to that? They kill it. All right, let me show it to you. So again, that ghillie, when you hold it in the anatomically correct position, the bottom is solid, the belly is solid, but the top is hollow. And we've got a hole. You see that hole right there? We've got a hole in that bait. So all we're going to do is we're going to get that peanut. And the great thing about the styrofoam packing peanut is you can play with the amount of styrofoam to get that bait to slowly sink, suspend. Even in some cases, you can get it to slowly rise with a piece of packing peanut. So you can tear it, rip it, and play with it. It's kind of moldable. I'm going to say start off with about three quarters of a packing peanut. So tear about a quarter of that tip off. Then I get that styrofoam packing peanut and I just start to, I compress it down with my fingers a little bit. It's very moldable. I wet the end of it and then I'm going to show it to you what it looks like going in the hole. Okay? You can see that real easy. So the whole top of that gilly is, is hollow. So I'm going to just push that packing peanut in there just keep working it in. And once it gets in, look at it. It doesn't affect the bait at all. But what you've done is you've added a buoyancy system. You've added a float internally to the ghillie. So now when we get that three-aught EWG hook, we go through the nose, we come out the side. Remember, we're, we're side rigging, which is Texas rigging toward the bottom. We pop that hook out. Look at it, it's all hook. Now we have a bluegill looking bait, swim bait, that's swimming anatomically correct, natural, neutral, subtle. And when we swim it into the bed, now that we have that styrofoam in there, here's what it does. Bass is on the bed, sits there, or sinks slowly looking like it's coming down for his eggs, they cannot take it. They cannot take it. Using simple styrofoam to float the 110 ghillie rigged weightless with that three-out hook around the beds, it's unbelievable. I hate giving that one up, but this is in the shop, and we're here to help you learn more. Listen to me. If you're having trouble with bedding fish in the spring, fish that are in any phase of the spawn, try the ghillie. Give that short leader 90, short leader drop shot 90 a shot. Give that side rigged weightless with that little bit of styrofoam a shot. Fish that around spawning beds. You're going to catch fish that you can never catch before. Man, I hope you're enjoying this in the shop series. If you like what you're hearing, do me a favor. Stop right now. Hit that subscribe button. It's right there. Hit that button. Subscribe to the channel. We got great content coming to you every single week. If you're already subscribed, do me a favor. Tell a fishing friend about Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're here to help you become better anglers. Good luck. Try that on the beds. You're going to get your arm ripped off. <laughs>